That's how we got started, guys. So my, my encouragement to you is if you have a dream, no matter what it is or how insurmountable it looks like you can, it can be, if you pray on it, if you seek God's instruction on it and you, and you earnestly follow God's will, he can lead you down those dreams. You know, and, and he may say that your dream is not right and, and send you down another path. guys so one of our side hustles is we build spec homes like this one behind me here so today we're going to take a quick walk through and kind of mark some spots where the sheetrock guys need to come back and do some repair work um, these houses aren't finished but they're nearing completion we're kind of in the final probably two or three weeks of having them ready to sell so we're going to walk this one and one other one up the street when the sprinklers quit running on it so y'all come with us and follow along cute little flower beds and they put rocks in so that when the water drains off the roof it won't be too bad on the flower beds gotta wash the house it's still dirty on the outside when I, when I walked in the cabinets over there looked like a red it looked red on the camera? yeah It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath with a two car garage. It sits on a 100 foot wide by 130 foot deep lot um, here in Central Texas. So today, you can see we've already got all the paint done, floorings in, cabinets are in, starting to put the appliances in. We've still got the dishwasher to set over here, but uh, faucets and stuff aren't in yet. Faucets and stuff are going in hopefully this week. So. Maybe we can do a quick walk through the house and just kind of show them the house. Yeah. First, and then we can start tagging Yeah, stuff. we'll do a walk through. And if you see so, anything, you can tag it as we go along, too. So when you enter, well, I'm going to have to pay a little more attention to Oh, that, okay. So, but as you, uh, as you enter, this is the living room. This is the door that we just came in, front door right here. Um, we got, a, so. got a little coat closet. Cody's over here tagging stuff, even though he said he wasn't. So what, what are you tagging? So right here, sometime during the building process, after the sheetrock was installed and the painters came through and did their initial paint, somebody's hit this piece of sheetrock and tore the sheetrock here. So I'm gonna tag it. Um, so they'll come and, repair it. My, my sheetrock guy, I get one punch, they call it, where he comes back by and anything I tag, they'll go through and, and fix it and repair it. And then the painter will come through after that and, and do the final punch on the paint. So like, um, well, I, like here's some spots where there's some white spots in the paint. I'll have to mark those later, with, but I'll do that after the sheetrock guy gets done. Um, but that's just part of the building process, guys. I mean, as these trains are in here, the guys that are laying the floor, they're they're putting some some leveling cement on there to make sure the floor is good and level. And you know they're going to hit stuff with with trowels or with with levels when they're checking stuff. So it's just part of it. There's no, no we don't get all worked up over it. So. Um, but like I said, a three bedroom, two and a half bath. So we're gonna travel through here. As we see stuff that needs to be marked, we're gonna mark it like that right there. There's a little spot right there that doesn't look good. So um, in here, I thought there were. So this what I'm looking the... for in here is like right here. There's a big nick. You can barely, see, if you're not paying attention, but there's a nick right there. So we're gonna tag it. Um, so we're in the hallway that goes to the two bedrooms, not the master. So here's bedroom number one over these here. These would be considered kids' like bedrooms. Kids' rooms. We're going to change those light bulbs. So one thing that's a big pet peeve of mine is I like all the rooms to have the same kind of light bulbs when I sell a house. So And I love daylight, so like the four, really the 5,000 Kelvin is what I love. So we'll have to go back and take these warm lights, warm lights out of here. Like I don't like the way that looks right there. So it's I love the doors in this house though. I think they're really pretty. When they're kind of the old house, farm style. So sometimes, uh, like if you're gonna buy a house maybe from a builder, if you buy it before it's finished, they're gonna walk it for you, but they may ask you to walk it and see if there's anything you don't you don't you see that you don't like. So as you go through, you want to go in every 
you know, go in the closet and look back here um, and see if you see anything like, like right here. Take a look up here. I mean, this is really the painter's job, but up in that corner oh, yeah. right there, up there's the a corner, small... Oh, there's like a little tiny... Yeah, that just Ooh. needs some caulk. No Spot big deal. There. But when I come back, I'll have to tag that so the painter will know to get that when the painter gets here. So this you're just looking down this under the cabinets. This kid's room looks out know. into the back yard. Just looking for any, any imperfection you see and, and let those guys, like, you know, let's, let's paint now. This is cool. I like this. This is kind of like in our house. Um, this is just a little hall closet. And the reason we do this this way, if we put this into that bedroom closet, then it's almost unusable because it's too deep in here. You can't get to it. So we just cut off the last 18 inches or so of it and make this a hall closet. The reason we don't shelve it all the way up is because that's going to be for, like, if you got a little broom or vacuums or, or brooms vacuums or, or stuff like that, you can put it under there. Or wrapping paper. That's what I have in mind. I use it for, like, a wrapping, wrapping paper, paper closet. Yeah. Mine's a gift so like closet. Right here, take a look at this. I don't know if you can see that. But oh, yeah. You see this little line right here? I see it. Oh, yep. There's like a line in the texture there. So I want to I want to mark that so that you can see that. And All right. These guys that do this, they know, they know they'll see it when they do it. So Let's, let's show them the bathroom. Maybe. I still don't know how all the plugs work in here. <laughs> There's no, no uh, light bulbs yet in that one. Yeah, and then this one... I love this bathroom setup. If you don't quit turning the fan on. Yeah, I, I thought that bathtub light was working, but. So I love this tile in the bathtub. It's really pretty. It's got some glass shelves in it. And then step on here, so. Oh yeah, show them. The I'm curious to you folks that aren't from around here or from Texas. So we call these head knockers. So that's just a little cabinet that goes above the above the toilet above the toilet so it's got room here to put your toilet paper cody would say commode so i had to say yeah. it first um one of the ways these are naughty alder cabinets um my cabinet guy these are custom cabinets we don't put in prefab cabinets in our houses um they all have soft close doors and drawers that's something we do on all of ours um Mode goes here. So what are you curious? I'm curious about. if y'all have head knockers and other shapes. Oh, okay. I mean, some people are like, you know, they you didn't really finish the thought. They, so don't, they, don't like, they don't have those where they're at. Let's show them the. So, this is the linen closet in the bathroom. So it's going to have room for a. Room for a hamper down there. Hamper down there. Dirty we didn't hamper. pull those, those shelves all the way out because it'd just be way too deep in there. Right. If you got a kid in here, they couldn't. Reach all the way to the back yeah. and get a towel. Or this leaves room that you can like put hooks on there inside the door, maybe, and hang right. towels or things like that. So or robes. I just noticed here. This is something. Oh, I'll, you need to tape off this. I mean, I'm sure it'll be taped off, but all that's well, that, the painter will, painter will come back. There's and, no, there's no sheetrock damage there. There's some paint damage. Yeah. But, um, the painter will, will caulk that and seal it up, make it look good, and then he'll. But I do not like this. Right we have here. the same granite throughout the house in the kitchen and the bathrooms right and we only we use granite on everything we didn't we didn't scrimp and put you know different kind of countertops in the bathroom so all right and then we'll move into the we've got another another little coat closet here now this one does have shelves all the way because obviously you only have one you only need one for the vacuum and all that so. So that's more of a sheet, bed sheets, things like that. Blankets, that kind of stuff. So bedroom number two looks like bedroom number one, but it looks out into the street. So it's got a street view. I'm gonna leave Cody because he's taking too long on, on this whole, I, I think he's gonna tape off the whole house think he's taping off the whole house. So we're gonna come in here into the kitchen. This is my favorite part of every single house ever. And we talked a lot about this kitchen because Cody did not like the placement of the fridge. So, so step back here. Okay. I didn't like the placement of the he fridge. He did not like the placement of the fridge, 
We had a little mishap on this island. When this house plans were originally drawn, this island stopped right here. And we did not, we didn't notice it until the island was set. <laughs> right, so when we got in here and got to looking at it after the, the little pony wall that we built here, this little short wall, I look at it and I'm like, hey, that's not even, that's not symmetrical and that kind of really drives me nuts. So I had my cabinet guy come in and build us a little bookshelf here to store cookbooks on. And then we also put in this one, which is not in here. But so it's a little bookshelf and then it's a trash hole. It's a got trash a trash can, can over so. here. What was that? Did you hear that? Did you kick something? I don't know. Maybe. He kicked that piece of metal in there. Oh, okay. So. But I love that little addition. I love that it has that uh, little bookshelf over there now. I think it looks great. I think it like I think it looks like it was meant to be there, even though it wasn't um, actually meant to be there. But Cody did not like the placement of this, where the fridge is going to go right over here. Pointing to it because he didn't point to it. Oh, but sorry. I'm sure it's self-explanatory where the fridge okay. is going to be. So right here, just a single. This I didn't really like this. I thought maybe it needed to be, I don't know. I think it's gonna but, look good there. I think it it'd be good. nice that you could have a coffee bar on one side or something like that. Have appliance appliance bar on one side or something. And then uh, we've got that's where the fridge goes. Uh, your range with your oven in it, microwave vented hood built into one here. You'll we'll have a, a single single hose uh Sink. faucet here. I'll we've got a switch here for your Garbage disposal, which is oh. just right here in the box. Oh, I didn't know what that was. Okay. Yeah, and it'll go in the sink here. We don't have those in the country. And then... Uh, then we've got a dishwasher right here dishwasher on this side. Here. So. And then this will be the dining room table. Let me turn you all around so you can see the dining room. Dining room's out right over here. Dining room table right here. Looks out to the patio. Looks out to the patio. We're going to mark that while we're here for it. What are you marking? Right here at this. Oh, but beside the outlet. It's a scratch where the when they cut when the they, holes for the yeah they cut too deep so so this here, uh this what is that thing called chandelier yeah the chandelier was from a different house but we put it in this one that we thought it so looked this, this chandelier came from a house that was kind of built during COVID there and what happened was is we ordered the so what I normally do on this is I'll give the homeowner the home buyer a an allotment to go buy a dining room fixture and you know, just say it's three hundred dollars at the lighting store to go pick out a, a chandelier. I'm trying well, to see which light looks out. better. It didn't come in; took forever to get in, so I just bought another one and had it put in. When this one came in, I'd already paid for it, so I just went and picked it up, and I just thought, well, it matches the rest of this decor. We're just going to put it in this house yep. and be done with it. But it looks good in this one, so in this house it goes. So here we're going to go into the show them the pantry next. Hall. And this goes to the pantry, which is pretty cool. I like this. It's a big pantry. I really like this pantry. You can get all the way in it. It's got shelving on two sides. I like it because it's bigger than mine. Which we put uh, plugs great. in here just in case you had something. I don't know yep. why, but maybe you got something you want to put in here. Who knows? You never know. But, uh, More plugs are always better. The Most of the time you'll see in these, in like this house, like the pantry, the insides of the closets are all painted white to match the trim instead of gray like the walls here because it makes it brighter in there. Yeah. Um, oh, there's a spot we got it's more. a smaller space, so we just leave those white to make it bright. Okay. All right, so from the pantry, so we're going to turn this way. Um, look up here. So this is our return, AC return. Um, our AC units are in the attic. There's not a closet inside the house. We put them in the attic. I do all of our, our plumbing's overhead, except for the drains, but all the water lines run overhead in the attic. We spray foam these houses, so that makes them super energy efficient, keeps your electricity bills down. But So from that, from there, we're gonna go down this hallway. Into the master. To the master bedroom. And. It's got a cute vaulted ceiling, or is that what you call it, vaulted? Not no, vaulted, it's called a pop-up, pop -up, sorry. So it pops up about a foot. You'd think I've never been around home building before, but yeah, and your granddad was a friend. Of yeah, and my and my and they were also builders. Yeah, my entire life. <laughs> right, so. Um, so yeah, so this is a master bedroom. It overlooks the backyard also. Yep. So they got a backyard view. This house has a beautiful backyard. We'll take you out there in a little bit, but it's got a really nice big backyard. It's got uh, sprinklers just went out because you can tell the ground is wet. It's got complete sod all the way to the back fence and irrigation all the way in the whole yard. So 
take good care of it because we want it to look nice. And the homeowner, when you buy it, if you bought it from us, you're going to want to have it done anyway. So you're going to pay for it one way or another. I'm going to get a better deal on it, so I'm going to put it in for you and make sure it's, it's there to begin with. So from there, we're going to go right into the master bathroom. We have oh we don't have all the lights in here but none of these lights are working yet but these lights are working. So his and her sinks. Um, there's a stack of drawers here in the middle. Um, then you've got, of course, a three stall, two two uppers here, and then three lower drawers it's here. Got a lot of cabinets. It's got a lot of cabinets in here, so that's nice. Um, got your toilet. Bathroom toilet there, commode. This and shower's awesome. This is one of my favorite showers. I don't know if you can see the floor good, but it's got like the honeycomb. Uh-oh. My low bathroom. power bug came on. Yep. Oh, they don't have the thing installed, but it's in here. So this will have a, a shower head with a wand that comes off so you can spray down the sides of the shower or spray yourself down. You've got a bench for women to shave their legs on or you can sit Which on. We learned a lesson from our house because we do not have a removable shower head in ours. And but this is one thing, cool thing my plumber set up for me. I'll show you guys. So here's the controls for the water. So you can just step around here, turn the water on and not be in it as it's getting warmed up for you. Yep. Um, I really like it. Super that. awesome. And then... And then you can hang your towel right out here. Right, we right can, out here. And you can mount a towel off. bar here to hang on so then you don't have to worry about it. Like ours at home hangs against a sheetrock wall and then it tries to, it tends to want mildew behind it if you yep. reuse your towels like a lot of people do. We need to just gut our entire bathroom and Not then. we've this learned so many lessons in this. Not the entire bathroom, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so there, well I say the entire one, but. We're going into the master closet. If you build houses, y'all, you might, you want to redo your entire house. It makes you want to redo your whole house. I mean, so this is a master closet. I know it's huge. It's huge. It's way I bigger than ours. A lot of people, you know, they they don't have near enough closet space. So this right here is broken, so we need to fix that. But um, this is a super awesome, nice size closet. So we got long hanging here, long hanging over there for. That's what I don't have enough of in our house because I didn't wear dresses when we built our house. And I thought, oh, I don't need that. So his and her side, however they want to separate it. We put plugs in here. So if you want to set yep. your phone chargers in here and set your stuff up, or you know, maybe you decide you want to make this a, put a bench here or something and put a mirror in here and you want to fix your hair, make this your makeup stuff. There's plenty of room for a center island in here. A lot of people do that in their, yeah, um, in their closets. So. so plenty of room to put a nice mirror on the wall. So. And this is one of the things I've done on every house we've built, including ours. And uh, let's see, whoops. Um, so the master closet or master bathroom in our other houses, it would go straight into the laundry room. That way, if you come in dirty, yeah, and which you goes go, to the garage too. Yep, so you can come straight into your bathroom. You can come in here dirty. This is where your washing machine goes here, dryer goes here. You've got cabinets above that to put. Put your soap and your dryer sheets and stuff like that in, or even up higher, you can put stuff that you're not using off, you know, but every now and then. Over here on this side in these houses, we added a, a, a tall hanging rack. So if you've got a, a dress or something that needs to be hand washed and hung to dry, you've got a spot here to hang it to dry. Over here, we've got a folding table. That's the way we did that is uh, just put this table, this countertop in here, and then we also put a hanging rod up high on that. So if you're here folding clothes and you want to fold up a shirt, that you know, you can just start hanging them on here. That way when you get done, it's easy to just grab Why them. would you hang up a shirt you folded? Oh, you know what I mean there. Anyway. <laughs> I have to give you a hard time. Cody, quit marking stuff. Show us around the house. All right, so then we're going to go into here. Turn some lights on. So here's the entryway, the back entryway. It's got a cute little... So this goes into the closet. What do you call this thing? A hall tree. Hall tree. Got a cute little hall tree. Uh, it goes into the garage that's still a mess. Yeah, still a mess, but we'll, we'll get it cleaned up. Um, and then that goes back into the kitchen. Yep, back into the kitchen. And then here's the little half bath in here. This is a half bath. So it's just it got... Does it have a light? Yeah, it should have one that's working. Sorry. So it's got just a vanity, and then it'll have a toilet. And it's got a little spot to hold things 
so. But that's perfect. It's that'll be the little half bath, and it'll be right off the kitchen, which is right out of the living room, so people can access that easy for um, if there's guests over. They can access it, plus they can access the uh, other bathroom that's right through here into that hallway. So, all right, we're gonna take you outside. I love how green the grass is. We're in a severe drought, the most severe you can we'll be in. But we got, grass. yeah, we got to pay a lot of money for the green grass right now. So, so we, one of the things that I do that's probably over, not overrated. I mean, I love it because I like a nice size back back porch or front porch. But most builders in your big, you know, your big time builders that are, I guess, in your uh oh, I can see myself in the window. Cookie cutter homes. They're putting tiny back porches and tiny front porches on their houses. And the reason is, is when you sell a home, you only get paid on the living area square footage, not the rest of the house. So if you have this much back porch on here, it, you don't, you're not getting paid for that because they don't figure that in the total square footage of the living area. So, but, but I want it to be nice. So we set up a spot over here where you could have a, you know, put you a barbecue pit or something like that. There's enough room here to have some outdoor furniture. And this porch is way smaller than the ones we had on our but last the two houses. They're, they're back porches. The ones we built at the golf course last year, the back porch was on the fairway. So yeah. They a big... So they had huge back porches. They were beautiful. So both these houses, we put uh, TV outlets on the back porch here so you can hang a TV here if you want to. You've got a high plug to plug that in um, and low plugs for regular stuff. We also put in outlets oh, yeah. up in the ceiling up there. So that's if you wanted to put in an outdoor speaker system, you can just mount it to the ceiling there and then plug it right in and you've got power. Another thing we do on all of our houses is um, we put an, a, a, a soffit plug in so that when you want to put your Christmas lights up, you can plug them into that soffit and then you've got an own, your own What's switch. a soffit? What if people don't know what a soffit so is? So this is a soffit. It's the part that goes around. Yeah, okay. It's under the overhang of the house. That's your soffit. Yep. So you put, it's got a plug in there. Um, you can turn it on and off in the, in the little uh, mud room there to turn your outdoor Christmas lights, lights on and on, stuff, so. yeah. All right. What else? Yeah. Is that it? That's in in this house. We can take them to the other house, and maybe you can give them a little background on how we got how we got into this. Awesome. So we'll be right back with we'll another house. This. Oh, uh oh, he's found something. Do you, are you do you put tape on this, Cuddy? Yeah. <laughs> we got a dead piece of grass right one, here. One, one square, square. Right here that's dead, but you can see the green. Yeah, there's green. In so in a few weeks, it'll it'll be greened up and looking like the rest of the yard here. Um, there's some, some Johnson grass coming up, some other little old weeds here. Um, but I really don't want to spend any any money or time right now trying to kill that because I want my grass to establish good, get get a good root system going. Um, we'll just probably keep mowing that the rest of this summer. Whoever the home buyer is, my suggestion would be for them to get a good yard guy. And he'd probably tell them the same thing. Hey, let's, let's go through this summer mowing everything. Then next, and then summer, next we summer we can start treating some of that stuff and, yep. and so we don't, don't kill the grass. We better go inside. We got wind coming. We can't have windy, windy videos. All right, guys, this is the second house. We'll do a quick little show you of the inside of it. Not much different besides um, some of the colors. It's got beautiful rock on the outside. I love this arched outside, arched entryway. No, no front door yet. That's not done yet. A lot of things not done, but it's got a little bit different color scheme though. The walls are the same color, right? The walls are the same color, trim is the same color. Trim's the same color, but the cabinets cabinets are a different color. Cabinets They're really pretty. Are cabinets are a lighter color over here. The granite's a different color. Granite is lighter, a little lighter color. And, where and then the out? floors. Look how beautiful these floors are, y'all. I love these floors. And where the other house has mainly black fixtures with a, kind of an opaque. Oh yeah, these kind of have the glass fixtures. This has glass fixtures. Satin nickel. And yeah. Fixtures. This one has the wrong fan blades. Yeah. They put the wrong fan blades face yeah. down. So. Not the wrong fan blades. They just put the wrong side. Down. Yeah, they just so gotta flip them over. If you look in the back in the bedroom, these smaller bedrooms. They've got the right fan blades. They kind of got. They kind of match the. They're like the wood grain that match the floor. Yeah, pretty close. I mean, it's hard to get them exactly, but. Oh, and the yeah. Let's see. 
but basically everything's pretty much a lot alike except it's just got the different the lighter colored cabinets and the different colored granite okay all right guys so a little backstory about how we got into home building so when eric and i got ready to build our house at our ranch it came time to build it and i bid it out with three or four different home builders here in our community and decided that I could save some money being my own contractor on it, general contractor. So Erica's come from a long line of, of home builders. Her granddad was a framer and, and then built custom homes on top of that with his wife, Erica's grandmother, as the general contractor and her, her dad and her brothers, they've all been in the construction trade. So with that said, I had plenty of help to help me walk through that first home as we built it. So. And after we got finished with our personal home, I just really developed a love and wanted to do that. So fast forward about seven or eight years to we own the cleaners and we own some duplexes. And my cousin and I that are partners in all that decided that, you know, about every four years we try to, to buy or create a new business just to kind of diversify ourselves. So we wanted to build homes. So or that's something that I wanted to do. So I talked him into letting us, you know, buy a couple of lots and we built a couple of homes and sold them and we did well on them for our first time. So that's how we kind of got into the home building business. Now, you know, we've got these are bigger homes on nicer lots. And, uh, you know, it's just something we've really, really enjoyed doing. And our next step is fulfilling one of my dreams is to be a developer. We've had the, the blessing of being able to buy some land outside of town where we can put in our own subdivision where we will be the only builders in it. So. Uh, yeah, it's about gonna four awesome. acres. That's going to be awesome. It's only going to be about four acres, but we should be able to get, depending on how we can get it laid out with the road and everything in it, about six or seven. We should for sure get six houses, but hopefully we can get seven houses in there. So it's not a huge subdivision, but it's a good start for some guys that have only, you know, not had a lot of experience with that. So if we can get that one under our belt, then maybe we can develop something later on that'll have, you know, some more, more lots in it. But that's how we got started, guys. So my, my encouragement to you is if you have a dream, no matter what it is or how insurmountable it looks like you can, it can be, if you pray on it, if you seek God's instruction on it and you, and you earnestly follow God's will, he can lead you down those dreams. You know, and, and he may say that your dream is not right and, and send you down another path, but um, he'll be there to support you and guide you guys. So keep that in mind. And just just never quit striving for what you're what you're want to do. You know, don't let don't let the guys tell you that hey, you can't do this or I wouldn't do that because of this. I mean, Seek have God. faith in God. Yeah. yeah, have faith in God, and if that's the path He's leading you down, then follow it. Cody always forgets something. So, and y'all haven't seen my face in this video, so I thought you might want to. You did see my reflection, yeah. but I just wanted to say that y'all be sure and follow us on here because you're gonna see, get to see the entire journey of that new subdivision that right. worked. so the only thing we didn't film because we weren't really doing youtube and stuff then was the you know the when purchasing the, the, the purchasing process yeah. no, that kind of stuff which i probably wouldn't have shown that anyways i mean the, there's other people involved that weren't us so it's not you know they might not want their personal stuff there but um we will show you you know the raw land and, and what we're going to have to do to get it ready to build on and then you know i'll go through the process of going through the county and the state to get entrances off of roads and um, the clearing process to clear the brush and stuff off of it, the road building, the lane, the infrastructure, the water lines, the electrical stuff. It's going to be cool. Um, it's going to be really informative and yeah, I'm sure. Process. I'm sure it's not going to be the way that some of you guys have done it, but as long as it passes code and we do it right and correct, it'll be okay. So, um, and keep in mind, guys, that we're in a different part of the country than some of you are, so our codes and our regulations are way different than y'all's. So. Like, like somebody came at us in a live that we did about, golly, y'all texture the walls. That's junk or that. Well, that, that's the way everybody does it in Texas. We don't smooth finish walls. We don't wallpaper. We don't put paneling on there. So if you, if you do have a genuine question about why we're doing something, just ask us. We're more than willing to answer those for you, but do it in a way that's not combative or everything, you know, cause if you just come at us like, God, that's why in the heck would you do that? Well, we're probably not going to answer you or <laughs> we'll just ignore you. I mean, but if you genuinely have a question about like, man, we do it this way. Y'all haven't noticed. I'm not hot and tired, but I'm just I get aggravated when people do that. Just if I mean really if I have a question, if I see you, you know, if you're cutting calves or something and I see the way you're doing it, I'm like, well that ain't the way I do it. I might my the way I'm gonna pose the question is is we do it this way, can you tell me why you do it that way? And then you might give me an an explanation like, Well, that makes a lot of sense. I never thought about it that way. But just 
guys, we're all in this together. I mean, just if you got a question, ask it, and we'll be and that's why we're putting it out here. We can. That's kind of why we're putting it out here. We want to show you the way we do it here in our area, which is Central Texas, and the way things are kind of done here, and the way um, traditionally what what kind of stuff we put in houses here. And, and if you may say something, I'll be like, "Hey, that's a pretty cool idea. I might incorporate and then incorporate that in the next yeah. house we build or something." So. All right, guys. We'll see y'all next time. Thanks That's for right. watching. Keep ranching. You know what you forgot to show them? Well, I forget to show who. The, the backsplashes of these. That was different oh, than the oh, other house. Yeah, the other and house. I love the backsplashes That's of these why houses. These have that yes. Tan color. It's got like a tan color, and I love the backsplash of these. So that was one more new thing. Thanks a lot, Cody. Sorry, sorry, Charlie. Letting me down since 2006. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I'm bummed. <laughs> Y'all keep ranching.